Now, let's uh, talk a little bit about authentication and authorization. In the previous part, we have created our login and registration part. That's our authentication part, which we type our username or email and password to login inside our system. That does the job of the security guard inside a school management where it, the security card check our ID cards to verify it, that we are the ones, we are the employee, student, teacher of this school. If we are not the member of the school, then it will redirect us back to the registration page which will tell him to first register then enter so that's the authentication which will authenticate that you are the one who you are claiming to be or in our case you are the student teacher of this school now for in the authorization part what is authorization now imagine you are a student in a school you have entered inside a school user in your id card and inside the school you are allowed to visit some parts but you are not allowed to visit some parts for example some places are specifically for the teachers only teachers are allowed to enter in that area the students are not allowed to enter in in that area for example in here you guys can see this security card is not allowing the students to enter inside teachers area so th this is the job of authorization to check are you authorized or are you allowed in that section of the system or not if you are allowed like this teacher then it will allow you to enter otherwise it will redirect you back to another page or from where you came back it will send you back to that part so that's the job of authorization